What's up guys? I clearly just woke up. I already washed my face and stuff So if my face looks shiny right now, it's because I have like oils on my face I decided that I think I'm gonna film myself getting ready for game day You might be confused because it's spring and football games are during fall term, but it is our spring game It's just the football team scrimmaging against each other. So we aren't like playing anyone I didn't go last year for whatever reason. So I'm hoping it's fun. I'm sure it will be I don't know why it wouldn't but I'm excited to go this year and but I'm just gonna show you how I'm getting ready and I know some people have asked for my makeup routine So I just thought in this video I might actually like go more in depth on that So if you're into that that will be in this video. I'm face rolling right now I don't know if this does anything, but it feels good as you just saw I just put some essential oils in my diffuser because my mom has gotten really into essential oils over the past couple months I used to use my diffuser all the time last year, but for some reason this year I just like haven't been using it for some reason I feel like my mom kind of got me back into that and I just put I think it was peppermint and wild orange because wild orange is supposed to be good for anxiety and peppermint's supposed to be good for like well it's good for a lot of things but hopefully it will energize me that's one of its purposes so that's why I put that one in there I don't know if I'm using this thing right by the way I'm kind of sad because I thought it would be like really nice out today for some reason I don't know why I thought that but it's kind of cloudy okay actually first things first I'm gonna go make myself some breakfast because I'm hungry. desk off. <laughs> Way too much shit on here. Okay, well you know what? Before I do my makeup, I'm gonna do something else. Sorry I'm talking quiet. I don't know if people are sleeping right now, so I don't wanna like wake people up, but I don't know if anyone else has this problem. It's like a kind of common like skin thing. I have this thing called KP. I forgot oh, what's the name of it? I feel like it's like keratosis pulvaris or something like that but anyways but it's like basically where you have like these you can't even, it's not focusing it's basically where you just have like little bumps okay my arm is like weirdly red right there specifically life update i've been getting allergy shots lately because i'm really allergic to pollen i'm doing immunotherapy for it but i got a shot yesterday and my arm's a little bit swollen and itchy right there it's like where you have these little like tiny bumps on your arms and i'm pretty sure it's like the buildup of keratin on your hair follicles or something i don't really know exactly what it is but basically i've had it like my whole life i started using this this isn't sponsored by the way i'm just gonna say that now it's called kp duty it's just like a scrub i've been using this for like probably three weeks now and it hasn't done like a lot but i feel like it has made my arms like a little more smooth if anything this stuff is like impossible to get rid of i like to think it's doing something it was like 50 dollars, but there's a lot of it so it lasts a long time so it's like kind of worth it but i'm gonna do that now because i'm planning on wearing a t-shirt today let me know if anyone else struggles with that almost looks like you have goosebumps or something i try to do it like every day and like right before i shower you're supposed to do it on dry skin so oh my god yeah it's like really red right there now this does not smell good, by the way. It smells like chemicals. <laughs> also, especially now that I have like this giant tattoo on my arm, I'm a lot more like self-conscious about my arms. I'm rinsing it off now, by the way. And now my arms are a little red looking, especially on this arm where I got my shot. <laughs> right after I got my tattoo, the tattoo artist used my phone to like take a picture of it. That was like the first time I really looked at my arms in like a few months. And like this gets way worse when it's cold out, as I already said. So I just like hadn't really looked at my arms because I've been wearing like sweatshirts and long sleeves all winter. And I saw the picture after I got my tattoo and I saw the bumps on my arms and I was like, why did no one tell me my arm looked like that? <laughs> Like I straight up had no idea my arm had that many like bumps on it But let me know if you also have this and if there's anything that works for you If you've found a cure, but I doubt you have because it's really hard to My mom made me, as I said, she's like really into essential oils right now But my mom made me this like little serum, I guess Or like it's 
lavender oil, lemon oil, lemongrass, melaleuca, which is like tea tree, and geranium. And then there's like fractionated coconut oil, which helps your skin absorb the essential oils. And it's just like good for your skin. So I just rubbed that all over it because I was told not to use just like regular like Cetaphil, Cetaphil, however you say it, because I guess that's like not really good for it because it like clogs the pores even more. I'm not really sure, but also it smells kind of good. So that's a plus. It like masks the scent of the nasty scrub. Now that's done and I'm gonna go eat and get ready now. Okay, I'm done eating. Now I'm gonna do my makeup and show you what I do. I'm just gonna do what I do every day, I think. Um, also, yes, I'm aware that my hair just like doesn't look good right now. Also, my eyebrows are kind of red because I just plucked a few of the hairs. Ignore that. First, I'm starting with liquid highlighter. I usually just mix these together. This one, my mom gave me because she didn't use it. It's just a buxom luminizer. I think that's what it's called. I think this is in the shade Venus. So there's that. This one is like kind of a cooler consistency. Like it feels cold when you put it on. So that feels good. Then I mix that one with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector liquid stuff, whatever this is. And this is in Champagne Pop. I just mix those together and put that like on my cheekbones and stuff. I love Love being glowy I love highlighter that's like my favorite part of makeup I think that and eyebrows are just like if I'm gonna do anything I'm gonna do those also I am NOT a beauty guru I don't know what I'm doing I just do this because it works for me so like don't come for me dragging me saying I'm like doing stuff wrong if I am I mean unless you have like any tips or if I'm just like doing something like really wrong then like let me know but other than that I'm just doing what I'm doing because it works for me so there's that little disclaimer then I use the Burt's Bees goodness glows foundation foundation this one is in the shade soft honey i wouldn't really say it's like my exact color shade but once you blend it out it's like pretty sheer then i mix that with the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation and i just use a little bit of this because this one's a little more like if i wear it for too long i'm gonna get a pimple probably so this one is like honestly one of my favorite foundations this one matches my skin a lot better though i don't wear that much foundation as you can see it's like a pretty small amount i don't put too much on my forehead because i feel like when i put foundation on my forehead it just gives me little like breakouts and stuff i don't really need it on my forehead i feel like my forehead usually stays pretty clear but i don't do this part every time i just put a little tiny drop can you even see it of maracuja oil from tarte gives it a more like dewy finish i think it just looks a lot more natural any sort of facial oil would work for that you don't need to use that i just use it because i spent points on it at sephora so now i'm gonna use tarte shape tape and just put that under my eyes i don't wear concealer anywhere else besides under my eyes so after that i go in with the nyx hd concealer i think this is the darkest shade i just use that to contour and i just put two little dots right there because a little goes a long way for this i definitely don't need that much see like that literally went so far and then i'll kind of like put some on the side of my nose just to like kind of contour it but i'm not very good at that so sorry if that's making you cringe and it just made me look worse but i'm not a makeup artist so don't drag me and then i'll drag some up on my forehead i think i'm gonna put some on like my jawline today actually okay now my nose looks kind of weird my nose always looks weird what am i saying i need a nose job i need a hurry okay so after i do like all of those three things like contour foundation and concealer i go in with my mario badescu just rose water mist and I do a couple sprays of that and then I just go through and like really try blending my foundation and everything just like all together to make it look more natural and stuff. So after all of that, I go in with more highlighter, of course. The first one I use, I use, okay, why do I use two highlighters for liquid and powder? I'm just so extra. But the first one is just this Lancome, kind of like this like rose gold almost looking color and it's in the shade Radiant Rose Gold. That makes sense. I just kind of put that on first. And then after that, I go in with my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter, but this one is crushed. I don't know how it happened. I usually just take whatever's on the mirror and put that on. And I'll usually just like kind of put it on my brow bone, my cheekbones, a tiny bit on my nose, and then a little bit on my cupid's bow. Then after that, I take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is so old. It's still going strong. I don't get rid of my makeup when it expires because I'm too poor to buy new stuff all the time. 
time. I don't do too much with this. I just kind of use it to contour a tiny bit more. It's almost like I'm setting the liquid contour, you know, but I don't really do too much of that. Sometimes I won't even add powder onto the brush. I'll just use whatever was left over from the day before. Then I take my blush. I have had this since like middle school for sure. It's just the L'Oreal True Match blush. I think this is, it's in Tender Rose. You can tell that it's old. Then I use this Tarte blush. It's in Party. I think it was the birthday gift last year at Sephora. So I actually use it all the time. I will normally go in with a little bit more, just like one spray and then blend all of that. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. I'm gonna steal one of those. And it is time for eyebrows. I just start by brushing them out. I use the Anastasia Anastasia. I don't know how to say it. Dip brow is just medium brown. I'm not good at doing that on camera, so I'm not gonna try to be in frame for this because I don't really wanna mess up my eyebrows. Then I go in with the Anastasia powder. It's just in dark brown, little powder duo. Then I just kind of like set my eyebrows. I know they look kind of dark and crazy right now, but I'll try to tone them down a little bit later. I don't know if you can really tell, but brushing through them definitely helps make them look a little more natural. Then I go in with my NYX Control Freak and brush them into place. Okay, then I take this just like little concealer brush and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This is just like a very sheer concealer. I don't like using shape tape or anything because that's a little too thick for my liking, but then I'll just go in and clean up my eyebrows. Damn, I really need to hurry. <laughs> I am going real slow right now. Okay, time for mascara. Okay, so first I just go in with the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I've been using this for like years and it's one of my favorite mascaras, but I do a really thin coat of that just on my upper lashes. Then after that, I take my Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Mascara and then I'll put that on my bottom lashes because it's like a pretty skinny mascara wand, so it's good for bottom lashes. I'm getting mascara all over my face right now. Then last I go in with L'Oreal Lash, Lash Paradise. I love this mascara. I don't know what it is about it, but... I feel like it just makes my eyelashes look so good. And last, I will go in with my concealer brush again, and I use this to clean up my mascara. That's all over my eyes. But sorry, I'm like rushing right now. I like need to be done with my makeup. Then next, I go in with my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I take this little tiny kind of like, I don't know what kind of brush this is, honestly, but I take like the two darkest brown shades, this one and this one, and I just kind of like lightly dip it in there and tap it off of course and then i kind of do like it's not like a full-on wing like with eyeliner it's just kind of like a subtle one with this brown eyeshadow i've been liking doing that lately i don't know why i feel like it just makes my eyes look a little bit bigger and it makes it look like i'm trying a little harder even though i'm not it literally takes like two seconds to do and yes i know it looks crazy right now but i'm gonna blend it out don't worry Ooh, i put too much on that was way too much i do not normally do it that dark but i'll just blend it extra so then I take this like orangey brown color, this brown color, and then the same one that I used on my whatever, and I mix those three together, tap the brush, and then put that like in my crease, I guess. Then I take a blending brush and I blend it all out. All right, now I'm all done with that. Then a couple more sprays of that. Damn, I didn't realize how much of that I used until I filmed this video. Then the last thing I do is I go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It is so old. The lid is like super cracked. I just set my T-zone. And then I also go over my eyebrows. I feel like that kind of tones them down a little bit. I might be wrong though. I think it does something, so I do it. And then a little under my eyes. I don't use too much powder just because I don't really need to, I feel like. So yeah, that made it look a lot more like toned down and not super like overly greasy, you know? Too glowy, too oily. That is it. I have so much foundation on my lips. I'm done doing my makeup. Now I really need to get dressed like super bad. I only have 30 minutes until I need to leave, so it's not enough. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Okay, for my outfit, I'm gonna be wearing a youth shirt, or no, I think this is a toddler shirt. 3T. It's just from the duck store. Gotta wear duck gear. Then I'm gonna wear these jeans from Urban Outfitters. I think I'm gonna wear these shoes with them, but that's still TBD, so I'm gonna put that on. Okay, I'm done getting dressed and just decided to put my hair up in a little low bun like I honestly always do. I'm running late and I don't really have time to do anything too crazy but this is my outfit. Oh and I'm wearing some rings from Forever 21 so yeah that's that. I need to like I feel like I just rushed so much and now I'm just like Egh. you know I have 10 minutes until I need to leave. 
look like a boy with like a bandana. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah we're, we're feeling very insecure. Yeah, we're all insecure. No. My, my, <laughs> outfit, outfit, my boobs look like my boobs. Yeah, men ain't Wait, shit, baby. Men like aren't pulse. fucking men. shit. <laughs> That's all I've learned in college, honestly. Yeah, the men ain't <laughs> shit. Forget all the like thousands of dollars towards tuition. It's just men ain't shit. Like, yeah. That's all I've so learned. True. Dude, I look like a little boy wearing a rash guard. I think like, I, I just like don't love the way I look right now. Dude, me too. We're going to the tailgate right now. Yeah. We're on our way. This has been the weirdest five minutes of my what? life. What? Okay. That's my socializing of the day. I'm over it. Can you continue the story you were just saying? So I was just like standing on the bus. Okay. And all of a sudden, I felt a knee go up my asshole. <laughs> and that's not, that's not normal. <laughs> It didn't necessarily go up my asshole. <laughs> ah! Yeah, no, but it like, you know? Shut the fuck up. Okay, we ended up not going to the game. And then some of the chinchillas, which is like a restaurant near your mouth. It's very good. It's very dang. Um, hi guys. <laughs> I have my retainers in. Sorry. I don't really care though. It is night. Oh, what the fuck? Why did I do this? So it is, so it's currently nighttime now. It's like 10.30. We didn't even make it to the game, which is kind of sad. And like, I was looking forward to going. We just like ended up getting distracted, you know. Then two o'clock came. Basically it's the second year I didn't go to the spring game. So yeah, but I still had fun regardless. I just did my skincare routine. No. Do I look like that? I am ready for bed and yeah, that's why there was no footage of the game. So I am sorry about that if you were expecting something, but you know, shit happens. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Follow me on my social media. That's where you'll see all the game day pictures. And yeah, that's really all I got to say. Thumbs up this video, subscribe, and yeah, bye.